All right, thank you guys. Welcome to our NHL video here today for Sunday, May 23rd. My name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. And if you want to see which one of these YouTube picks I'm actually betting on personally here today, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage. Now, we are currently 2-0 in our last couple of $1.99 daily best plays on my Patreon page. And if you want to access today's daily best play, it's only going to cost you just $1.99. We're also hitting at 70% in our last $10.99 daily best plays in that very same category. We currently have over 1,225 members who are signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, the link for that page is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash page. With that, guys, let's go ahead and get started. The Canes take on the Preds, 2.30 p.m. Eastern puck drop. Carolina Hurricanes are up two games to one in the series. They're also the $1.50 favorite. Totals five and a half juice to the under. Mrazek in net for the Canes. Soros for the Preds. Now, Soros does come into today's matchup with a 228 goals against average and a 927 save percentage. The Predators are in the top 10 in the league defensively in home goals allowed. They're giving up just 2.4 goals per contest at the Bridgestone Arena. And speaking of the Bridgestone, Nashville has gone 19 and 10 straight up on their home ice, so they've been very good when they play at home this year. They're taking on a Carolina team who's been pretty bad cashing in on the puck line on the road. The Hurricanes successfully covered in just 9 out of 29 road games, and that's good for just 31% in that particular category. The Canes are also in the bottom 5 in first period scoring on the road, and they're in the bottom 10 in third period goals allowed on the road as well. So certainly some problem areas for this Carolina team. Now total-wise, 4 out of Carolina's last 6 outings stayed under the total of 5.5 goals. They're also 60% to the under in their last 10 meetings with Nashville. Meanwhile, the Preds are 18 and 11 to the under as the home team. I'm going to lean toward the Nashville Predators plus one and a half and the under five and a half goals. Next contest I have for you, it is going to be Avalanche versus the Blues. 5 p.m. Eastern start time, and this could potentially be an elimination game here because Colorado's up three games to none and like I just said, they're looking to sweep here today. The Avalanche are minus 235 in this matchup here today. Totals five and a half juice to the over. Phil Grubauer for the Avs. Jordan Bennington for the Blues. Now, the Blues have given up 15 goals already in the series. And once again, they've only played three games, uh, you know, in this series. So 15 goals in three games. Uh, not so good. Uh, St. Louis has also struggled at home this season They've gotten the W in just 12 of 29 home games, and they're in the bottom 10 in home goals allowed. Now, they're taking on a Colorado team who leads the NHL in scoring. Nate McKinnon has five goals already in the postseason, two assists, seven total points for the center. Nate's currently a plus four in the playoffs. Meanwhile, Gabe Landeskog has six total postseason points, and that's mostly thanks to five big assists. The Avalanche are also uh, leading the NHL defensively in shots allowed. And they're giving up just 2.3 goals a game. Phil Grubauer is coming into today's start with a 1.95 goals against average and a 9.22 save percentage. Now when it comes to the total on this one, five out of Colorado's last nine meetings with St. Louis got over the number. The Blues are officially 16-13 and 13 to the over at the Enterprise Center. I'm going to lean toward... The Colorado Avalanche minus one and a half in the over five and a half goals. Next matchup, Bruins versus the Caps, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The Boston Bruins are up three games to one in the series. They're also the $1.35 favorite on the road. Totals five and a half juice to the under. To Garask for the Bruins, Ilya Samsonov for Washington. Now, Washington has given up 11 total goals in their last three meetings with Boston in this very series. They're also in the bottom 10 of the league in third period goals allowed. But it's not just uh, on the defensive end of the ice where Washington is having problems. Believe it or not, the Caps are also in the bottom 10 in the league 
in third period scoring as well. Now they're taking on a Boston club who holds their opponents to just 2.4 goals per contest on the road. Tuka Rask comes into today's start with a 1.99 goals against average in the postseason this year, along with a 930 save percentage. Now this Boston defense also allows just 27 shots on goal a game. When it comes to the total on this one, three out of the series four contests stayed under the total of five and a half goals. The Bruins have also gone 18 and 12 to the under as the road team. I'm going to lean toward the Boston Bruins minus $1.35 and the under five and a half goals. With that, guys, now it's time for our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Oilers versus the Jets, 730 Eastern puck drop. Winnipeg's up two games to none in the series. Having said that, though, it's the Edmonton Oilers who are still the $1.35 favorite on the road. Totals five and a half. Mike Smith for the Oilers, Connor Hellebuck for Winnipeg. But despite being up two games to nothing in this very series, the Jets have actually lost more games than they've won at home this season. Winnipeg's gotten the W in just 13 out of 28 home games, and they average just 2.8 goals per contest in those very uh, home games. Meanwhile, defensively, the Jets are dead last in the league in first period goals allowed at home. So uh, certainly some problem areas for Winnipeg, despite being up two games to zero. Now the Jets are uh, they're taking on an Oiler club, who's been real good. Uh, they've been real good away from their home ice this year. Uh, Edmonton's nineteen and nine straight up when they travel, and they're also in the top ten in road scoring. And although they haven't scored much this postseason, I've got to imagine they're going to start heating up here in Game Three. Connor McDavid scored 33 times in the regular season, 105 total points for the center. Now, Connor was a plus 21 in the regular season as well. Meanwhile, Leon Dreisaitl scored 31 times along with 53 big assists. Dreisaitl finished the regular season a plus 29. And even if Edmonton scores continue to struggle, they've defensively been good all season long. They're in the top five in road goals allowed. And they give up just 2.4 roll, uh, 2.4 goals a game when they travel. Now, total wise, Edmonton 17 and 11 to the under on the road, six and three to the under in their last nine meetings with Winnipeg. I'm going to lean toward the Edmonton Oilers minus 135 and the under five and a half. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap, powered to you by my Patreon website. I like Nashville plus one and a half under five and a half goals. Colorado, minus one and a half, over five and a hook. Boston, minus 135, under five and a half. And before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are 2-0 in our last $2.99 daily best plays on my Patreon website. We're also hitting at 70% in our last $10.99 daily best plays in that very same category. I'm going to lean toward the Edmonton Oilers, minus 135, in the under five and a half. And with that, guys, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.